Hello friends welcome to to the point in this session we are discussing about the earth in the solar system after the sunset when we watch at the sky we notice a two bright dots shining in the sky and immediately those shining dots keeps on increasing the whole sky is filled with that tiny shining objects some are bright others are dim those shining objects keep twinkling but if you notice some of them do not twinkle as others do they simply glow without any flicker just like a moon shines and along with this objects you may also see the moon on the most of the days at different times in different shapes under different positions you can see the full moon only once in a month and it is full moon or it is also called as purnima a fortnight later to the full moon it is called as new moon night or it is also called as amavasya on this day the night sky is very clear as we can't see the presence of the moon during the day time we can't see the presence of the moon and the tiny objects shining in the sky it is because that the very bright light from the sun it does not allow us to see all these bright objects which we see in the night sky the sun the moon and all those objects that are shining in the night sky are called as celestial bodies some celestial bodies are very big and hot they are made up of gases and they have their own heat and light which they emit in large amounts this celestial bodies are called as stars the sun is also a star there are many countless twinkling stars in the night sky which is similar to the sun but we do not feel their heat or light why because they are very very far away from the earth when we observe the night sky we can notice that a various patterns are formed by different groups of stars and these are called as constellations ursa major or it is also called as big bear it is one such constellation and one of the most easily recognizable constellation is saptarishi sapta means seven and rishi means sages saptarishi means it is a group of seven stars that forms a part of ursa major constellation so using stars people also used to determine the directions during the night with the help of stars there is a star called north star which is also called as a pole star this north star it indicates the north direction and it always remain in the same position in the sky some celestial bodies they do not have their own heat and light but they are lit by the light of the stars such bodies are called as planets and the word planet it comes from the greek word planetai which means wanderers the earth on which we live is a planet it gets all its heat and light from the sun which is our nearest star the moon that we see in the sky is our natural satellite and it is companion of our earth and it moves round it like earth there are other eight planets and they get heat and light from the sun and some of them have their own moons the solar system the sun eight planets satellites and some other celestial bodies are known as asteroids and meteorites form the solar system and we often call it as a solar family with the sun as its head the sun the sun is the center of the solar system and it is very huge and it is extremely made up of hot gases and it provides the pulling force that binds the solar system and the sun is the ultimate source of heat and light but the heat is not felt so much because despite being our nearest star it is far away from us the sun is about 150 million kilometers away from the earth planets there are eight planets in our solar system in order of their distance from the sun they are mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune all these eight planets of the solar system they move around the sun in a particular fixed path and this path they are elongated and they are called as 
orbits. Mercury is the nearest planet to the sun and it takes about only 88 days to revolve around the sun. The planet Venus is considered as Earth's twin because its size and shape are very much similar to that of the Earth. Our Earth is the third nearest planet to the sun. In size, it is the fifth largest planet. It is slightly flattened at the poles and that is why its shape is described as geoid in shape. Geoid means earth-like shape. Planet Earth, it has a favorable condition to support life and it is our planet Earth is neither too hot nor too cold and it has water and air which are very essential for our survival. The air has life supporting gases like oxygen. Because of this reason, the Earth is unique planet in the solar system and from the outer space, the Earth appears blue in color. Why? Because two thirds of the surface is covered by the water and therefore our planet Earth is called as a blue planet. There are two types of planets, inner planets and outer planets. The inner planets are the planets that orbit around the sun, between the sun and the asteroid belt and those planets are called as inner planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars is said to be a inner planets. Outer planets. The outer planets are the planets that orbit the sun beyond the asteroid belt and that is very far away from the sun. And these are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune are said to be outer planets. Apart from stars, planets and satellites, there are numerous tiny bodies which also move around the sun and these bodies are called as asteroids and they are found between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Meteoroids, the small pieces of rocks which move around the sun are called as meteoroids and sometimes these meteoroids they come near the earth and they tend to drop upon it. During this process due to friction with the air they get heated up and burn and it causes a flash of light and sometimes a meteoroid without being completely burnt it falls on the earth and create a hollow. Sometimes we see a whitish broad brand like a white glowing path across the sky and it is a cluster of millions of stars and this band is called as Milky Way galaxy. Our solar system is a part of this galaxy and in the ancient India it was imagined to be a river of light flowing in the sky and thus it was named as Akash Ganga. A galaxy is a huge system of billions of stars and clouds of dust and gases and there are millions of such galaxies that make the universe. See you in the next session with some other interesting topic. Thank you.